<laughs> we have the tights matching. You really have to reflect sometimes and be thankful and grateful for where you are and for how much you've grown. I'm not gonna lie, I'm literally exhausted right now. I'm like not exhausted because I'm overtired because I'm continuing to run, but I'm going to the gym because I need to shut my brain off and I also need physical activity because I love myself and I want to better myself right now. Got up at 6.30, have been studying since. I have a research meeting at 11 and then I'm going to um, study until two by myself and then quiz with a friend until four and then I have lab from 4.20 to 5.50 and then I have another meeting at 6.30. So probably no gym today, but I did just go on a walk um, for like 15 minutes. So that's better than nothing. Walk break. Just had my first meeting of the day and now I'm going to eat lunch and study neuroanatomy for about two hours, then quiz nervous system stuff with my friend for like two hours, then go to lab. having some turkey and rice before lab, so I'm not starving after it. There's nothing worse when you're like trying to focus and concentrate and you're hungry. This is the highlight of my day right now. So it is 8.25 and I'm leaving campus. Um, I had lab until like 5.30. We got out like 20 minutes early today because it was a review lab for our practical next Monday. Um, so that was nice. Learned some stuff like solidified some knowledge. Still have a lot to study on that, but that's for after Thursday. Um, but I still have like 140 Anki cards left and I really wanted to watch another like review video. Um, so I don't have to watch it tomorrow, but that'll take about an hour and I won't be home until like nine. And I don't know if I can study from nine to 10 because if you know me, you know that I like to stop studying early. So this is hard because I, I hate studying this late. I like to just like stop at like 8.30 at the latest, but this is a crunch week. So I don't know. So I just have to say school and life are pretty crazy right now, but at the same time, this is where I want to be, and it's kind of hard to remember that. That this is where I was praying to be, you know, like I, I wanted to get into medical school, obviously, and I want to be a doctor. But I think I've started to realize, like, each time where I feel really stressed and I feel like things are crazy, I, I've wanted, I want to get better. So I honestly wish for that, and now it's happening, and now I have that chance to prove that I am able to do those things and prove that I am the person that I want to be. You know what I mean? Um, so I guess I just try to look at things in that way now. And I honestly, if I were to like internalize and like really feel all the stress of life, like first of all, my skin would be breaking out like crazy and I just wouldn't be able to function. And like just that amount of cortisol in my body, I can't have. Um, so I've kind of, I'm trying to really work on my mindset and I don't always have this mindset. Like I get stressed out sometimes, obviously. Um, and I rely on coffee a little bit too much, but you really have to reflect sometimes and be thankful and grateful for where you are and for how much you've grown. And I am.
So it's 7.06, 7.08 actually. Uh, my hair looks crazy. I just got to school. Um, my exam's not until 9 a.m., but I have like anxiety and I need to get to school um, before, like be there at least an hour earlier so I can just like study and like know that I'm there and just be able to walk down in case there's like an accident or something. Just like the way that my school is, if there's an accident near it, like you're screwed because it's just like, like, a bridge kind of near it so yeah i woke up at 5 40 and started studying then and did some reviewing a breakfast you know all that stuff and now i am going to just study until the exam so just took my exam um wasn't terrible now i'm going to the gym with my friend and then gonna get my eyebrows threaded because it's literally been like over a month probably a month and a half so i need my eyebrows threaded okay so i just realized something i was walking outside and i realized i'm wearing literally a syracuse jumpsuit that's funny this was literally me walking outside <laughs> my hood up in this jumpsuit like this like it's funny that it's like not like that on that side I don't know. Okay, get ready for this transformation. Ready? So, this is what I'm wearing. I'm going to um, a Mexican restaurant with my friends and we're gonna have fun, uh, enjoy ourselves a little bit because we're gonna be studying straight for the next three days until Monday for our OPP written and lab practicals. But yeah, I really like my earrings. Um, now that I have my third hole, I love the look of a lot of earrings, earrings and then this is like an ear cuff, but yeah. Wait for it. I love this. I thrifted it. <laughs> Macklemore vibes. But yeah, I mean, I don't have many times that I can wear this, so might as well wear it with an all black outfit because it goes. Wait, angry orange. What is this called? <laughs> We just got our second one. So I can read night. like far away things, but I can't read close enough. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Smile! You know all four friends on in YouTube? So I am just gonna be studying all day. Um, I think I'm gonna go to school because I have to go to school to do something. And I'll just study there. So I'll probably eat lunch and then go to school. Um, and then I have a peer mentor event later and gonna hopefully go to the gym tonight but just studying OPP and uh trying to learn the stuff for the practical and all the special tests exciting exciting stuff so I just ate lunch and then um I just submitted um an abstract for a paper that I've been working on to present at a conference so hopefully it gets accepted um I find out in December but yeah, fingers crossed. That would be my first conference in med school that I'm presenting at. So that would be fun. And it's virtually, which is really nice um, because next semester is gonna be busy with board studying, but um, so it's convenient. See, the funny part about med school is that it doesn't matter if it's the weekend because your life completely circles off of the exam schedule. See, it's a Friday night and I just finished studying, it's 9-12 and I'm eating a one of these ice cream cones. Um, and yeah, it's not like a going out time. I mean, I could probably hang out with some friends tonight, but I just feel like relaxing and going to bed pretty early. But yeah, it's like, if you have an exam on Monday, Monday is basically your Friday, Tuesday is your Saturday. It's just funny how you see people and you're like, wow, I forgot that it was even like the weekend right now because your mind, your body, your life revolves around the exam schedule. And that does suck when it is a weekend and you see people out and you're like, I can't go out. Like I would just regret everything and like I'm studying or whatever. But that's a part of med school. That's a part of the hustle.
so it's saturday night it's literally like 9 15 and i'm in bed um stopped studying at like 8 30. <sighs> i'm tired just mentally and physically but i just have to keep telling myself i'm gonna study tomorrow i'm gonna study tomorrow night I'm gonna take my exam in the morning on monday at 8 a.m the written opp exam and then I have my practical at 3 p.m. I'm gonna review all the stuff with my friend uh, before the practical. Probably gonna go to the gym after the test, then eat lunch, then review the stuff, then go to school for the exam. Then I'm gonna be done for a hot minute. Oh, I can't wait. I really, I really need a break right now. I feel like this semester has been the semester that's gone by the fastest out of all of them. It's literally crazy how fast this semester has gone by. I mean, I'm happy. Like, I'm literally almost three quarters done with the didactic part of med school. Like, I'm almost halfway done with med school. I mean, I know next semester is going to be insane with board studying and taking boards. But I can do it. And I will do it. And I'm tired. And it is literally so nice to be in bed right now. Like, it's a Saturday night, I have no shame, I'm in bed, this is exactly where I want to be. I would not want to be anywhere else in the world other than my bed right now. So, good night. Alright, it is Sunday morning, and I'm having breakfast in my special cup, Magic Potion. Um, I'm having chia seed pudding, and then I put, um, the reason why it looks purple is because I put frozen wild blueberries in it. Um, the bag of frozen wild blueberries is from Costco. I got it a while ago and I'm still using them. Wild blueberries are like so much better. Like they're so much smaller and sweeter and like kind of sour and they have way more antioxidants and they're just like a lot better for you, I've heard. And then I just did a cup of um, almond milk and then uh, two tablespoons of chia seeds, maybe like two and a third tablespoons of chia seeds. And then I put some um, sugar-free maple syrup for a little bit of sweetness, but it doesn't really need it. Um, but yeah, I have like no breakfast food at my apartment right now. I have Lucky Charms, but like usually I use that as like a post-workout thing or just a treat. I don't want to start off my day with Lucky Charms every morning and like my stomach is like sensitive to that. So this is like a really good breakfast that actually fills you up and pretty healthy I would say and I like the cup the purple goes perfectly with it but I'm uh, gonna study OPP with some friends in like 20 minutes so I'm reviewing the stuff right now that I want to go over with them just getting it gelled in my brain get your scapples off the table scapples <laughs> <laughs> looks like the left one went down more so that's uh, again a right sided dysfunction correct Okay, so you can put your arms down. And that that would be a right-sided extension. Dysfunction. Extension, okay. Jeez. Mm -hmm. So grab my shoulder. Just lean back. So try to pull me down. Uh, you, need, you need to lean back too. I am. Am I not? Okay. I'm okay. Scared. Does it hurt? No. Okay, and then do it again. Oh wait, I'm pulling you down. Yeah. Okay, stop. Do it again. Okay. And what's the last step? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See if it works. Okay. Touch the sky. Get your scapulas off the table. Yeah, I think it did. <laughs> this is how I know I'm done with the semester and med student brain. I just saw a license plate that said SJS for part of it. I'm not going to say the rest of it. Um, but that immediately made me think of Steven Johnson syndrome and how that's a major side effect of Lamotrigine, which is an anti-epileptic drug. Because I just had, we just did anti-epileptic drugs for my nervous system exam. And I'm just like, I need a break here. I really do. Channeling the power from my crystals <laughs> to give me the strength to cleanse my energy and keep it good and to keep a positive outlook right now because I know tomorrow I'm gonna feel so much better after my exams hopefully they go pretty well but right now this is like the thick of it the worst of it just tired of studying and need a break 
that's how I'm feeling. So let me put some extra strength with it. I just went for a two mile run and I'm this dead. Holy shit. That was good though. I needed that. Gonna shower, prep my dinner, quiz with my friend for an hour, eat my dinner and study more. So I had my exam. It wasn't terrible. Um, I think I passed it. I think I'm pretty confident on that. Um, but now I just went to my favorite thrift store to do some Christmas shopping and um, just like some shopping for clothes. But they always do like 25% off and 50% off sales and they have a calendar with it. And I like never look at the calendar cause I only come like maybe once a month or like once every other month. And today was a 50% off sale. And I feel like I always luck out and come on the 50% off sale. So I literally got like, like, five shirts, a pair of pants, two pairs of earrings, and like a, a card to write to someone. And it was 19 bucks. So that's why I love thrift shop, thrift shopping. And I love that thrift shop so much. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna probably eat a snack, relax, I might work out. Um, and then I'm gonna practice the practical stuff with my friend. And then I have the practical at three. So Hey, so um, we finished our two exams today, our OPP written and our OPP practical, which we actually both had at three. This is my best friend, Krippa. Um, she's been in other vlogs. Hi. But um, we're going to a Friendsgiving, so that's why we are dressed up not in gym clothes or scrubs for yes, once. for once. Mm -hmm. um, I made baked mac and cheese with four types of cheese and um, breadcrumbs. And Rachel made green beans, which are going to be fantastic. Green beans and cookies. And like cookies. Like those small sugar ones that are really good. Like the ones the that you can make Pillsbury? for like, yeah, yeah. For like yeah. Halloween, Thanksgiving, and winter. Or mm -hmm. what is it called for Christmas? Christmas, yeah. It's yeah. like snowmen. Yeah. yeah. So, And we're yeah. kind of dressed in like the same. Wait, like, actually, I could just I don't know how to do this. Like the same outfit. We have the tights. Matching. We have the maroon. We have the black. And I'm going to wear black boots. So, yes. If you're not matching with your best friend for for Friendsgiving, are <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> True. Also, trying to... I know. Actually dress up for once. We also have the same hair. Like, kind look of. at us. Why do we True. have the same hair? Anyway. All right. Bye.